Portia here with Stitch Story and today in this step-by-step -step tutorial I'm going to show you exactly how I made my bunny ear headband. I chose to use Karen Simply Soft Party because it has tinsel running all throughout so it adds a little bit of extra bling and fun to the entire piece. Let's get started. Today I'm using Karen Simply Soft Party. The colors are Fuchsia Sparkle and Snow Sparkle. A pair of size 8 double pointed needles. You could use straight needles but when I'm working with smaller pieces I like the shortness of the needles. A sewing needle to weave in our ends. Scissors to clip those ends. Here I have a pair of bunny ears cut out um, from cardboard. This is going to add structure and support to our finished piece. A headband here, ordered these from Amazon, the link will be in the description and the headband is our base for the finished piece. And also a hot glue gun and glue stick, this helps with finishing as well as support. So I already have the first bunny ear complete, we are going to be moving into the second one in just a bit. So the bunny ear itself is comprised of two parts, the outer ear and the inner ear and eventually we sew the two together to form the one piece. Now we're going to go through this in sections so I consider um, this piece is broken down into four sections. I have where I'm just doing straight stockinette stitch. We begin to increase here in this midsection. We do a set of stockinette stitch again and then we move into decreasing. So that's how I'm going to break down the pattern. So we will make uh, two of the inner ear, two of the outer ear, but like I said, this one is already complete. So we'll be making in this tutorial one of each. We'll start with the outer ear and the outer ear is in that snow sparkle color. We begin by casting on 12 stitches, which I already have here. And we are going to work on section one, which I mentioned earlier is stockinette. Section one is comprised of eight rows. So we are going to knit the odd rows and we are going to purl the even rows. So let's go ahead and start with the knitting. And then the second row will be purl and we're going to do that again for a total of eight rows. So I will see you when I have completed section one. Okay, first eight rows are complete. And again, this was just simply the stockinette stitch. And that was this area, or that is this area right here. Now we're going to move on to section two. In section two, we, we will be increasing. And so I'm going to put the instructions on the screen to increase. So the increase pretty much goes from row number eight to 22, and we will take our st stitches from 12 to 20. So the way we do that is we are going to knit one. We are going to increase by taking the bar right here in between the two stitches, putting it on the needle make sure it's a little twisted we knit into the back of that new stitch and then we continue so now we've gone to 13 stitches and then we're going to knit all the way down until we get to the second to last stitch and we will increase again Okay, so we just knitted the second to last stitch. Now we are going to grab that bar one more time. We're going to put it on there. We knit into the back of that new stitch. Okay, and we knit the last stitch. So here we have just increased our 12 stitches to 14. So I don't want to do a fast increase. So in between my increases, I have actually put three rows. One row is a purl, one is a knit, and one is a purl. So we are going to purl across here. Okay. 
this is what I call our uh, little buffer rows so that it doesn't to do a dramatic increase. I wanted the increase to be subtle to kind of take on the um, shape of the bunny ear. And then we knit. Then we purl one more time. And this purl row brings us to the 12th row. All right, almost done with the buffer rows, so to speak. All right, now it is time to increase again, and this will be on row 13. So again, we have 14 stitches. We are going to put that increase stitch in between um, the stitches here and the stitches right here. Now I'm going to continue to do that. Uh, repeat this section until we have 20 stitches on our needle so I will be back when that is all done and that will be the completion of section two all right so just ended on a purl row which means that that was row 22 so we now have 22 rows we have 20 stitches on the needle we have increased from 12 to 20 and now it is time to move into our next section, which is section three. And for that, that is going to be rows 23 through 30. And it's a set of stockinette stitches. So what we're going to do is knit all the even rows and we are going to purl the odd rows. And again, we're going to do that for eight rows. So I will see you when section three is complete okay just completed row 30 so that completed um, section 3 let's move on now and that is we're moving actually into this area here which is our decrease so the de decreases go from row 31 to 41 and let me show you how to do that so starting with row 31 we are going to knit two together and we knit the stitches in between until we get to the last two stitches Okay, last two stitches, we are going to slip, slip, and then knit them from the back. So this creates a decrease that leans, this side will lean to the left, this side will lean to the right. So it brings it in to that nice little curve that we have here. And so on the next side, which is the purl side, all we're going to do is just do a purl straight across. And on the previous row, we took those 20 stitches down to 16. So now we're just purling 16 stitches all the way across. And then on the next row, which will be row 33, we are going to decrease by four again, and that's going to bring us to 12 stitches.
All right. Decreasing. All right, so I will be back once we have decreased all the way down to one stitch and that will be the end of the outer ear. All right, here we have it just finished section four, which is the last section. And we are now going to snip the end. And let's take a look at what we have. So it's all rolly, which is fine. To me, it helps when we're sewing it together because I want uh, the outside rim to show and then the pink. So what's gonna happen is when we move on to the pink section, you'll see that it's a couple of stitches, stitches smaller than the white section, which is the outer ear. So we got the shape of the bunny rabbit that we want. We have our long tail here, extra, extra long, so that we can sew up on all the way around once we have our pink section done. So we're going to sit aside our outer ear. Now it's time to go ahead and move into our inner ear. For this section, we're gonna use the Fuchsia Sparkle. And if you heard me a little bit earlier, I said that the only difference in the inner ear is that it is a couple of stitches shorter than the outer ear so here I have already cast it on 10 stitches with the outer ear we started with 12 here we're going to start with 10 so what we're going to do uh, we still have our four sections and the first section is stockinette so we are going to do eight rows knit purl so we are going to knit the odd rows purl the even rows and again we're going to do that for eight rows so let's get that part done all right so we have our section one complete which is our stockinette stitch and that is those eight rows now we are going to immediately go into increasing so we are going to take these 10 stitches and increase to 18 just like we did uh, with the increases on the uh, first part of the ear we are going to do the same thing. So we are going to knit. We are going to bring up the bar, put it on the needle. We knit in the back. Turn over. All right. Now we got 11 stitches. Knit down. All right, pull up a bar, knit in the back, knit the last one. So now we got 12 stitches on the needle. So next comes our purl row, knit row, purl, and then we'll increase again. So section two will go from row nine to 22 and that's where we're going to increase and we'll eventually end up with 18 stitches so i will see you when that section is all done okay just finished up section two with row 22 which row 22 was the pearl row which we ended on so now we are going to move straight into section three so section three is going to be rows 23 through 30 and we're just going to do stockinette stitch so again that is knit the e no knit the odd rows and purl the even rows and i will be back once i have completed those eight rows of stockinette stitch all right we have section three all done that was just the eight rows of our stocking stitch we will now move into our decrease rows. The decrease rows go from row 31 to 40, where we'll end on a purl row. But just like on the outer ear, all we're going to do is to decrease is starting with row 31. We are going to knit two together. And then we're gonna work our way to the last two stitches of the row.
and those last two stitches we are going to slip slip knit those two together we are going to purl on the back side and we will do another decrease row so by the time we finish decreasing we will have taken those 18 stitches all the way down to one so I'll see you back when I only have the one stiff one stitch left just finished up with the very last row of our inner ear and I'm gonna go ahead and get that clipped all right so now what we're going to do is go ahead and sew the two pieces together all the way around and i left again this big long tail so that we would have something to sew with in order to do that we turn the two pieces purl side out and we join them with the yarn there and so what I'm gonna do is just sew all the way around and it's gonna end up like this once we get done stitching all the way around so when I come back the piece will be completely stitched together we are stitched all the way around so since we are on the wrong side let's turn it to the right side corner out see what we got here all right we got our second ear complete I'll probably just hmm, weave them in or either just stuff them on in there because remember we're going to end up in certain cardboard in there anyhow but yeah I'm totally happy with what we have here and the cardboard will help it to take a little bit of a better shape but we now have two bunny ears, the inner ear, the outer ear, and we are glistening and sparkling due to the little tinsel running throughout the party yarn. All right, so guys, join me in the next video where we are going to go ahead and put it all together. So we will be attaching the ears to our headband. We will be putting our cardboard in as a way of support. All right, so if you got any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, let me know right there below in the comments. I will absolutely respond. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to Portia's Stitch Story. Until next time, peace.